and welcome back folks Pearl's got an open shot and honestly the 8, 9, and 10 are the only balls that really aren't within about a diamond of the hole so these first four balls that we're going to see now these should be fairly easy for Earl to get to little scary there <laughs> did look a little scary for those of you tuning in right now it's four to three in favor of Alex Pagaline Earl Strickland is at the table this is a race to nine Seminole Pro Tour at Capone's Billiards in Spring Hill Florida this is the final four Earl was Earl Strickland was ranked number one after the modified round robin competition we played eight rounds Bur Earl barely made it into the final 20 and then took over after a few blazing rounds earlier today and when the final 20 played four rounds and Earl rose to the top and kept control and now is trailing four to three but at the table and it's a single elimination Earl being number one is playing Alex who finished by getting in by just one game one game separated him and Mike Davis they both had the same percentage after the Round robin rounds were over, but Alex had one more win than Mike. And that was the first tiebreaker. Earl gets a round of applause. He ties this all up at four. Earl's been breaking the balls quite randomly, it, it appears. We haven't really noticed a pattern too often. And I think he tries to make the six here, but I can't be specific. He has had some luck in making balls, which he has just done. He has a shot on the one, two balls hanging, and all the balls have a pocket. So I'm going to make a prediction that Earl's going to find a way to get out on this rack. coming up a little short on that is played safe pretty good safe too I might add 
Well, he left Alex a kick, but there's no real guarantee that he's going to be able to get the cue ball or the three ball back down table here while leaving the other on the other end of the table. And that's what he'd be trying to do with this kick. Well struck. He's left Earl a bank. I think Earl can draw this cue ball. He can follow it, come around and get on the four. He's gone. Earl's taking care of business. Well, the six presents a problem now. Yeah. And he can make a six-nine combo. It is a makeable combo by all means. It's just I'm a little, little concerned with where the six would go. This is the funny pocket. Ooh, did he hit it? It's going to hit the top side of it. That might not be good. Well, he's in control of the table where he can take the cue ball and down to the bottom rail. and Put it under the nine. Put it under the nine. That's the move. Earl's thinking about it. And bank is all the way down to the bottom barrel and take the hmm. cue underneath the nine. I think he got it, but he may have left him a window there. Yeah, he definitely left him a key Yeah, hole. he can see it. And I think Alex has a, a shot at it. Alex can make a, this ball. Makeable ball and a built-in safety. Yeah, he can make this shot all day. Low percentage shot, though. This is the tough pocket. Except it's not tough to Alex. <laughs> Whoa. I think he can nick the seven. I'm not certain that he can make the seven. <laughs> Alex is quite the showman. <laughs> shooting it like he's going to make it. Quite a little stretch here, but I believe that Alex is going to get the bridge out on this. And he did. Is the Larry and Neville match over? I don't know. Let's look at the other table. See the beat? That means so it looks to me that Larry is sitting on seven and 
Adam has two. Actually, Larry is sitting on eight. I apologize. Looks to be one more bead for him to get to nine. So Larry seems to be on the hill, and Alex is going behind the back with a bridge on the table. <laughs> oh, look at that. No, that's not going to be so good. Mm. That's a tough shot because it's tough to, with, when you have the bridge up there, it's tough to see the balls. Well, this, this shot here, you don't have to make this shot. I've seen guys miss this shot before. Oh, yeah. Well, you definitely so draw close. it back to the end rail just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Look, see how he drew it back? Oh. See what I mean? That yeah, wasn't a gimme. It. Wow. That's a funny part. Well, Earl just plain outright missed that ball. He did draw it back to the end rail, like Corey was saying. But he left it right in front of the hole. He left it hanging. When you miss that one, you don't expect to miss it by a lot. <laughs> That's unlucky. Alex misses a shot, leaves, you know, when you miss one, leave it right over the hole. Compared to a guy that misses one, leaves a tough shot. Right. That was awesome. Wow. And I think he's come up dry. He hit it real good, but yeah, he didn't. He's left Earl a playable lie. I think uh, Earl just needs to get on the three ball. It could go in the side. I'd kind of take the cue ball around by the five, I think. For this shot, for yeah. sure. Uh, just above the five is where I'd like to hit. He might hit this eight. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. As long as he doesn't get underneath the five. Oh, no. oh, oh. Earl is just snake bit right above now. The five, Earl. Wow, that's so unlucky right there. It's the only two inch place on the table within four feet that he can get hooked. Earl is uh, voicing his displeasure with this lie as tournament director John DeToro moves in for the inspection. Uh, the sad thing is, is Earl doesn't have a very good kick shot or anything. He's got a mass save the ball. He hit it. That's not he hit bad. It. Made a hit. Left to... Uh... Now Alex is going to really wedge him up here. He's going to make the <laughs> two around by the six, maybe, and come... He's got to watch, because there's, there's room to get through that six ten. So if he banks it around... Watch this. He might leave a window. I got perfect. You got perfect. Well, I'll tell you, another inch there, and he's left a window. There were, yeah. It, it's it's good to get close to the balls too, so you can't jump. All these things you got to think about just because of the jump cue, you know. Yeah. Well, this looks a little steep to me. Yeah, he's got to follow that ball. Yeah, well, he was steep into the angle there. That was tough to hit, that just, one, yeah. Dang. Earl's been just yeah, a hair off like that. He's kind of got a little discouraged there. Like, you know, he could have thought that through a little better, maybe. He's discouraged because he got froze on that five. That's really unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, he's really unlucky not to get an easy shot on the ten when Alex missed it. So...
definitely in these, in, you know, race to nine, there's a couple good, couple lucky rolls, and it, it, it could be, uh, that could be it. But Alex has played well the whole event, so he's staying composed. He's just looking, the, he'd like to get just a tiny angle to go to the bottom rail and follow up for the five. See, that shot, an inch or two sideways, makes it a lot tougher to straight in. Now he's in big trouble, and if he gets too much angle, he's in big trouble. So getting that perfect angle on this four makes it to where he's, he's got right, a cinch shot to get on the five. Follow it right up, and he's out. Yeah, but that was the whole, whole key was to get that really, you know, so precise with the cue ball there on the on the on the three ball. The three ball looks like an easy shot. A lot of guys will just shoot it in, but if you don't really look at that angle. That bounced on him. This might hit the Ooh. seven. Ooh. He got, got away, away with it. <laughs> I, I think I might have just rolled that ball. In. He was trying to, he wanted to make, he wanted to get straight in on the six. That's what it was. He wanted to just, you know, a little have an easy. <laughs> uh, I, I think he could just shoot it in the side and try and bring the cue ball straight towards the seven. And maybe a little low left hand English. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna spin it back. There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Just like that, flat. Larry is in the final match. Looks like Larry's Larry Neville. Adam Smith had a great tournament, finishing third, tied for third. That'll get him a four thousand dollar payday. Money for this event, uh, $10,000 up top, $6,000 for second. Both third place finishers will receive $4,000. Yeah. You know, I think this format is kind of right up, right up Larry's, you know, I think this is kind of Larry Neville's good format for him because uh, he has so many just shutout matches, and then he might have one bad match. You know, it seems like that's what ends up costing him from winning a lot of tournaments. Mm -hmm. But in this, if he has six shutouts and a couple bad ones, so, well, he's right in the hunt. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's a good point. Where those two bad matches would have eliminated him. Yeah. Now he's, you know, the guy that's the, the guy that beat. Yeah. <laughs> was uh, he should throw throwing ball. balls. He's uh, not happy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, why get mad at Alex? You know, it's yeah. not Alex's fault that Earl's unlucky. I mean, I can see why he's upset, but well. No rhyme or reason sometimes. Sometimes it's just a matter yeah, I've, of... I've seen a lot of players do that over the years. They get mad at the guy when, when the guy gets lucky on him. No, oh, you're lucky. Oh, I'm sorry I'm lucky. You know, I'll, I'll never do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my fault that I got lucky. Since I was in control. <laughs> you know, I can control luck, so I'll never do it again. Sorry, Earl. <laughs> Alex yeah, he did is, make the seven. He, he made the nine ball. He made a few balls that time. Huh. Looks. He's made three balls. Wow, three balls. Tell you what, he's kind. Of, he, he might have a free bank here. If he banks at the one on the side, just tries to nudge the eight to give himself yeah. a little shot. He can, or even nudge the two. Even try and bump the two a little. Yep, that's what he was doing. He he more played the safe though. He was more about playing the safe, which on this table is pretty smart. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause still look. I mean, boy, this is another another tough kick shot. 
Well, <laughs> made Earl. a hit. Earl's not having a, a lucky day. Now, Alex is probably going to draw this ball or masse it after the, the make. Let's see I, if he I can like get just it. shooting in the side with high left English and take the cue ball two rails out of the corner and go all the way to the bottom rail. I'd try and take it two rails out of the corner, hit the where the chalks are over here, and try and take the cue ball all the way to the bottom rail. He's looking to play safe under the two. Wow, I can't believe he would do that. Oh, he <laughs> hit it perfect. <laughs> wow. That was perfect. Hey, you never, I mean, safeties are worth a lot on these tight tables. So. This game would be huge for Alex, put him on the hill. Got a real good crowd here, I'll tell you what. We do have a it, lot of I think spectators it, I here. I think it helped, you know, keeping that... You know that we kept 20 guys back on Sunday and they played all day. Yeah, that makes for a nice event. A lot of spectators. I can't hear what he's saying. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not Alex's. Oh, he, he, he missed miss it by a, a quarter inch on both sides coming, <laughs> both ways. He really is having some tough luck here, I, mean, I must admit. I don't think it's Alex's fault or the crowd's fault, but nevertheless, Earl's getting pretty unlucky. Always entertaining watching Earl, though. Regardless. Oh, yeah, he's entertainment. This is a great match for, for entertainment. Alex has got his antics, and he's, you know, yeah. definitely a crowd favorite. And mm -hmm. Earl's got his antics, and, you know, a lot of people in the crowd love him, too. Ernesto Dominguez is here with us. How did you end up, Ernesto? I make uh, twelve hundred dollars. Coming down thirteen, I think. Coming down thirteen. But then uh, Ernesto Dominguez got thirteen. What about Oscar? Uh, he got uh, nine, I think. Uh, Fifteen hundred. Oscar got back fifteen hundred or nine. Alex seems like he's got. Uh, we only lose a couple uh, thousand. We don't lose too much. <laughs> Just got the ball straight up into the corner. Do you like getting an angled down table on the five, or do you pull this cue ball back and get an I angle to the side? I draw it back a little. Or? I draw it back a little. Oh, that uh -oh. one hit the rail. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> I'll bet Earl's squirming, squirming on that one. Well. Earl's made some comments. I, I really like the way Alex is playing in position. He's playing good position, it looks like. That's what's got to happen on this table. Well, you don't want to shoot hard shot after hard shot after hard shot on this table, I can tell you that. Yeah, you don't want to be working too much. If Alex can finish this off, this will be an interesting final, Larry, Neville, and Alex. I don't think we've ever seen that final. I don't think we have either. I don't think we've ever seen that final. And Larry's just got such a powerful game. He really All does. these guys have a powerful game. They didn't Earl get it. breaks good. 
one of the best strokes in the world. Larry Neville can draw the ball, 18 rails. Alex is uh, one of the most creative guys I've seen. They're talking about something. I don't know what they're talking about. Alex is laughing about it. I think uh, Earl made a commentary, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> and uh, John DeToro is getting in the mix now. So we might see a little uh, drama here. <laughs> well, John doesn't just get out there and grandstand. He, he's out there for a reason. John does a great job. He's been working so hard this week. Um, you know, taking care of everybody, you know, if something's going on, doing the scores, you know, putting up all the name tags and reffing, reffing all the shots every day from 10 a.m. to you know, about, about 11, so... But the Seminole Tribe, they just do such a good job, and they're such a good sponsor. And the Seminole Tribe of Florida has been on a be unbelievable for pool. They're doing a good job on this tour. Well, Alex has a hill here. He hasn't adjusted the card in back, but he does definitely have eight. He made the ball on the side again. Wow. Kind of corner ball. Wow. Yeah, three is kind of nestled up into the four a little bit. But it does go in this lower right-hand corner pocket. It also goes in the side. But he's gotten pretty straight on this one. This is going to be interesting to see which way he goes for position. I think if he's got enough angle to go to the, to the short rail here, they can hit it hard and send the cue ball between the side and the and the ten, with a little speed. He, you know, if if he falls there, fine. If he goes long, he might be able to play it in the corner by the nine and the side. So he's got a few pockets to go that way. That's what he's looking wow, at. Wow, right might have got away from him here unless he gets a nice. Kiss. Well, he he put him he put sent the cue ball in an area where he's at least going to be able to see the three, and he end up straight in, straight in the corner. Well, he's looking at getting out there for, on that four, and I don't know how much of a pocket that four has to go past the six. And I'm not sure how much angle he has either. He might have too much angle. That's what he's looking at. He's got a lot of angle. He, he, he might be able to pinch it to there. Another option here is to just follow the cue ball into the four and bump it into the ten. Well, yeah, nice that, was, that wasn't that tough to do it that way. That was a good shot. Nice you know, touch. Well, you don't want to fall straight on this five. That's the last that thing he wants tough. to do. So any sort of angle on the five is going to be good. Yeah. You just might just draw it out to the middle of the tail. Make sure you get make sure you get out there and then play the, play the five two rails. Oh, huh. I missed it. Huh. Wow, he was so worried about position, and look at where he lays. He ended up getting straight on the five. That's what he's so worried about. And Earl is just looking at it and going, why me? But. Oh, does the four not pass the nine? The, war, the four will go past the nine. Earl. I've seen Earl come back from these situations and win these sets. There, something happens to Earl sometime in this this when he smells that the guy doesn't doesn't exactly uh, want close it. the he ended up getting straight he's, he's got a, he's got an angle towards the the other rail okay, there okay yeah he's fine yeah the, you know it, sometimes it's re almost relaxing when you when, when the guy's on the hill and you, you know you need to win every game because it's uh, you have nothing else to lose. You know, you pretty much felt like you lost it already, so it's a bonus anything else happens from here. Right. Well, he got a little bit far on this, but he, he should be all right. It's easy to yeah, work. I think, he'll, I think he'll hit this firm and spin it around maybe four rails or something like that. He 
Yeah, who knows where this is going to lay. Wow, good shot. Well, he's still alive. Earl's, Alex Earl's gonna alive kick and kick himself. And, and that's a tough thing mentally. When you get another shot in the next game, you're, you're thinking to yourself, man, I might have just lost this tournament with that mistake I just made. I could have won the match, been in the finals. And, you know, just things like that go through your head. It's hard to get that out of your head and just mm. take shot for shot. Definitely making it exciting. Earl's walking around, chatting a little bit with the folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't understand why they put it in the pocket. I guess he wouldn't want to clean it off on that shirt, huh? Man's to make a ball, and I think he's going to get a shot on the one. Straight warm. in, look I told him that spot. That's where I told him. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know if he's got enough angle to get on the two, though. He wants to fall straight on the two if he can. Well, you can get over onto this two. The real problem is that the four doesn't look like he passes the seven. And the three has a funky lay. It's hard to get from the three to the four. If he can get to where he can stop cue ball on the two, he'll have the angle where he can follow two rails underneath the four. Yeah, I can see that. He's uh, elevated the cue a little bit. Well, he has a shot. Now he could he could he could probably pinch draw this and, and like just bump off the edge of the eight to give himself an angle on the three to follow to the bottom rail and over. Right. Hit the eight. Kind of what I'm looking at. Looks like he's gonna hit it hard. Oh, he hit the wrong side of the eight. That puts him straight in. He just kind of no. followed that ball. I'm, he's was, got a. He's I, was, I, don't, I don't know about that play. Yeah. Uh, now he, from here, this table's tight. So why not just roll the cube on the end rail, play the cube, play the four up table, and freeze behind the seven? I mean, you look, just need to win the game. No point in trying to do anything crazy with your stroke here. He's drawing this ball. This is. Oh man, what See, was he was, thinking? That was unnecessary. There. That was no, just. I mean, uh, yeah, a great trick shot, but. <laughs> You know, roll the ball to the end rail, play the safety under the seven, bank the four over behind the eight. Well, it's definitely never over till it's over, but now it's got a good chance here. There's only six things that can go wrong now. Get, uh, get above the six, follow the bottom rail, take the seven, two rails, and... I think Alex can handle these. Yeah, I, I don't foresee any mistake coming from Alex on these. Nine to the ten is the only thing. Became some, you know, got a little funny on the nine, short on the ten. Or get straight on the seven. <laughs> he does look a little straighter than what he wants. Straight there. Oh, he can force this ball up table. He's all right. Yeah. Ball took off on him. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay, but he's got the angle the wrong way. Now he's got to worry about the 10 ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just follow this right in, you know, straight up the table and try and come straight back towards the 9, give yourself a little angle. I think he's got these. He can handle this. 
lot of inside. That's perfect right there. That's perfect. Now you just don't go too close to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is to get to the finals. He missed it. Uh, oh, he moved forward on that ball. I was actually rolls. surprised that he went that route from the 9 <laughs> to the 10. Earl cannot believe that he's getting back to the table. Oh. I know how that shot's pretty tough too, because you froze on the rail and it's and you can't really. It, it, sometimes it, that ball skid a lot of times. That same shot. Right. Looks like Earl oh, missed that Earl ball too. It. Wow. This table is just it can it can break a guy down. A guy plays start playing bad in this table. Yeah, I mean, you really you can, uh, you know, it's easy to start playing bad on this table because you just miss one ball, and next thing you know, you've missed five. Yeah, he's looking to maybe spin kick underneath of it. I don't know, bank it. I, me, personally, I bank it right corner. I take the cue ball up to the third diamond on the left side of the cue table below the side. That's I how I do. I bank it with speed to come up to the third diamond on the other side. Right, exactly. exactly. You're gonna hit it, hit it short. That way, maybe I, maybe I leave a bank if I miss, and if it goes in, great. If not, I don't really like playing safe on this ball, just because you know, might as well get a shot. Might as well give yourself a shot at the win. Oh, he hit it man. long, hit it and long. I think that's going to be a uh, wrong. Want to do. Long and wrong. Boy, well now Earl's right back in the set. Only two games away. Eight to six with Earl breaking. And did he just shut his eyes like he was going to shoot that blindfolded? <laughs> I swear he shut his eyes. Shut his eyes, then got yeah. down and shot it? <laughs> I swear he shut his eyes. <laughs> Earl's talking. Look at Alex's face. <laughs> he can't believe this. Wow, this is starting to turn out to be somewhat of a match here. Yeah, it is. If Earl can lay down a break... Our producer, Alvin Nelson, is convinced that Earl is going to break one diamond up and about a, or one diamond over to the right side and about four inches behind. Well, wow, look at off. this. Off the back rail with the longest bridge you've ever seen. You can get a lot of power with that break. Yes, you can. A lot. And look at this. They took their places. Tell you what. Alex doesn't want to see Earl get two more of these. Uh, that's hard to hit the cue ball square from there, though. That far away. I've tried that break. I've whipped the whole cue ball before. I really don't see any problems out here with this. This looks pretty good. I mean, you gotta get, you gotta fall pretty good on six, I guess. Eight, nine. Wow. 
He got a little he's, bit of that. He's letting the cue ball go a little bit. In a little longer position. His stroke is so long. That was just... Hmm. He got away with it. I think Earl's uh, acknowledging that he finally got a roll and Alex is... Made a good hit. Mm. And he didn't he didn't leave a hanger for Earl at least. I think Earl can just stop the cue ball right there. I think he can he, stop it. He and can stop it right there. He might make it in the play cross safe. corner. And he's got just the six. Play safe. He's just freezing. Let it tie it yeah. up right there. This is almost the same kick Alex just had. This one you gotta hit pretty hard. Because yeah, if you don't hit it hard, you're leaving the four and the cue ball right next to each other. Exactly. So. Oh, he double kissed it. Double kissed and left Earl a hanger. This is going to end up being close. Yeah. I see it. I think that mistake got to Alex a little bit on that last game. You know, missing the 10 for the win. I mean, it'd be nice to fall pretty good on this eight. Okay. Straight in. Here comes Earl. Here comes Earl. Watch out. When he gets in these situations around third, fourth, you know, a lot of times he can he can get it done. It's, I don't you don't see Earl getting a whole lot of seconds in his career. No. You know. Uh, he Earl makes, is a might, closer. Yeah, he closes. So. He's got a pretty good record in the finals, I'd say. He's one of those guys that if he makes it to Sunday, he's tough. He's he's tough to beat. He just goes to show Alex had him six to two at one point, and I believe eight to four. Look at how far up that cue ball is. He's just going for sheer power here on this table. I imagine those goes hill hill. He could. Could go hill hill. Really? Now what were Alex's he missed the ten. What was the other mistake? I, I gotta forget it. He missed the ten. What, what was the other one? He missed the ten twice. I think he missed the ten twice. No, he missed a, an eight ball, I believe. Well he missed the ten twice in the same game. He missed the ten. Mm-hmm. And then Earl missed the 10, then Alex banked the 10 and missed it. And the other game, the other game Alex missed the 10 too, remember? And, and then Earl Earl missed it and left it in right. the hole, I think. But Alex won that game. The other one you're saying he missed the 8 ball? I think he missed an 8 ball. 
all. It's it's been a long week. <laughs> yeah, my memory's not what it once was. Great shot. Does the three go by the eight? Does the three go by the eight? That's the question of the hour. If it does, what do you think of playing the cue ball under the eight? Oh. I don't. Three long ways. Looks like he's doing that. I think it goes. It must go. No, he's playing the bank. It must mm. not go. Oh, that's a good shot, though. This bank's is pretty it? free. This is a this is a fairly free bank. Yeah, I like that play. He made it too. What he made shot. it and got the shot. Well, I mean, hopefully he can close this one out. Yeah. These are really laying easy. You have fives ducked up in the side, six is right next to it. The only problem ball I see is the seven or the ten. They're just because just they're a little far away from the pocket. Right. The eight nine. I don't think you can mess the eight nine up. I tried to take a practice trip with the bridge and, and uh, fumbled it up. Now, I think we were we watched him do this, and it was either a six or an eight that he got in out of line, where we said, "Oh, you know, he's out." And uh, I think it was the eight ball that he messed up on. All right, he's got to draw back a couple inches now. If he over under hits it, or over hits it, he can get himself in a little bit of a jam. But yeah. I think he can handle. That's pretty good. I don't like getting straight in on this eight ball. If you get straight in on the eight ball, and you stop the cue ball, now you got a straight in shot on the nine, and the, you, know, you can't really get above the ten. I like I like getting a little angle. Maybe come. I think that's what happened. He got a little tiny angle where now he can follow under the, under the nine. Mm -hmm. Get around the nine and shoot the get nine into the, the same nine. pocket as the eight. Real easy. Yeah. There you go. Now I just I just jog over the rail and play the play the ten in the side where he's standing. came all the way up. Wow, he came and all This is going to set up an Alex Pegaline and Larry Neville final. Nice. All right. Alex Pegaline defeats Earl Strickland 9 to 7. Want to thank everybody for hanging out. We're going to have the finals coming right back at you. Corey, thanks for doing thanks the lot. commentary. Oh, yeah. Really appreciate it. Thanks to the Fury Q's, Millican Super Pro, Grand Touring Vodka, and to the Seminole Pro Tour. We'll be coming back with the finals here in about 10 minutes.